She is a DDOT bus driver already responsible for one fatal pedestrian accident. So why was she given the chance to get back behind the wheel? As the seven investigators first told you Friday, that same driver was just involved in her second fatal accident. This is video of the first incident that happened back in 2015. Well, tonight's seven investigator Ross Jones has more on what went wrong in the latest tragedy and what city officials are now saying. This was a human life that was lost once, and now we're faced with this again. It's unacceptable. The Friday bus accident downtown ending a woman's life was a tragedy, but for the driver behind the wheel, it was not the first. As we reported last week, the DDOT veteran who ran over 67-year-old Janice Bauer on Friday had run over and killed another pedestrian years before. We told you about the death of Joey Davis back in 2017. That's him wearing the Michigan sweater, waiting to get off the DDOT bus near 8 Mile and Van Dyke. Davis can be seen retrieving his bicycle from the rack at the front of the bus. The driver appears to be looking up at her rearview mirror. She didn't notice Davis was right in front of her when she started driving forward. The driver just took off. Um, horrible accident. No excuse. Um, and one of our customers um, suffered a fatality. Dan Dirks was director of DDOT when Joey Davis was killed. He said the bus driver responsible was taken off the road for a year before being returned to full duty in 2017. Went through extensive retraining. Um, and, and again, the, the last report I heard, which was a couple of days ago, that she's doing fine. The right thing would have been to remove her from the road and never allow her to get back behind a wheel to allow something like this to happen. James Harrington is an attorney whose firm sued the city over the 2015 death, settling the case for four and a half million dollars. This is a, an event that never should happen under any circumstances. It's broad daylight. She ran over not one, but two members of our community and killed them. How, how is this tolerated? The bus driver was taken off the road Friday while an investigation into the fatal accident is ongoing. In a statement, mayoral spokesman John Roach said in part, that a review is already ongoing to determine whether the city has the proper internal and labor relations processes in place to prevent accidents involving the city's bus operators. Earlier today, I spoke by phone with the daughter of Joey Davis, killed by the same driver eight years ago. I feel like the people that let her back were very negligent in their job and their retraining. I feel like if they had properly done their jobs, another woman wouldn't have lost her life. And to the family of Janice Bauer, preparing today for her funeral, Rachel wanted to say this. We share in, in a grief that is just unimaginable and I'm deeply sorry to them and, and I'm angry that it happened. Reached by phone, a spokesman for the city of Detroit declined comment as the investigation is ongoing. In the newsroom, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. You know, for both of those families, thank you so much, Ross, for that report.